Hey y'all, my name is Akira and I'll be taking you guys on a journey with me to my breast augmentation. So stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, like I said, for those that didn't hear me the first time, my name is Zakira. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. I am 25 years old, I weigh 137, and I'm getting my boobs done. Um, The reason I chose to get my breasts done is because girl has always been flat chested and baby it's not giving what it's supposed to give for me you know what i'm saying and everybody keeps saying you know you'll get some when you have kids but baby that ain't that ain't even in my plans right now <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna get this done but uh i chose vine and surgery center my surgery name is dr coke roll um my consultation was free actually i um, did my consultation december 30th of 2020 um today is march the 31st the day before my surgery um 2021 um my surgery is tomorrow april 1st so yeah i'm gonna get my real you know how i'm feeling i'm feeling i ain't even nervous no more honestly i'm not nervous about that i'm just ready to get it over with but um the prices range because I chose saline um, implants, the prices range between $3,000 and $4,500. Um, I chose saline implants due to the fact that um, in the case that they were to rupture, it wouldn't affect my health in any type of way. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a salt water solution versus getting silicone and it being like a gel-like substance. And if it were to get in your bloodstream, it could cause cancer. So. I went with saline. Um, I chose to go under the muscle as well because, like I said, I don't have kids yet, but I choose on playing. Uh, sorry, getting so inside. But um, I don't have kids yet, but I choose. I oh, what is wrong with me? <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't have kids yet, but I do want some. So, you know, with me getting it under the muscle, I still be able to breastfeed when I choose to have some. I'm going with a moderate profile because I want a natural look. But I done told everybody I'm getting breast implants, so you gonna know if you, you know what I'm saying, if you follow me on Instagram, whatever, you'll know I got breast implants. Um, so yeah. So let's do this little get ready with me. Um, these are a couple of things that I have bought bought in so far. Well, I have bought in because my Saturday is tomorrow. Um, I got this from Amazon. It's called a seven day midi planner. I think it's so cute. I probably won't use it, but you know, they prescribed me like four different um, medications, which were uh, um, which is a pain medicine. Um, what is this? Cyclobenzaprine, I don't know. I'm gonna put my address on there, but you can't see it. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have them listed below. Hydrocodone and cephalexin. America, 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 America. Did you see that, America? You see that, America? <laughs> yeah. So I got those four. Uh, they prescribed me those four different medications for my surgery. They also told me that it was a great thing to get a. Uh, Colace because the hydrocodone and the promethazine can cause constipation. I probably want, you know, poop to like after my third day. So, Colace is supposed to be a stool softener and it helps you, you know, release those toxins. So, yeah, I got this, a Medi Planner. Y'all, I'm extra now. I bought some stuff I probably don't need. I'm probably just overthinking it, but. Girls just want to be prepared. I also got this from Amazon. It's called a Therapy Peas Pack for Breast. It relieves 
engorgement, swelling, and plug ducts. So yeah. It's like a heating pad. You can put it in the microwave and, you know, place it on your breast, under your breast, however you choose to do so. I got that. I'm just going to put it back in the box. Um, I was told to get Hippocan, Hippo, uh, Hippo, Cleanse. Um, this is what I had to phase my body with three days prior to my surgery. Um, and the day before and the day of my surgery, I had to phase with this. So yeah. I got me some non-stick pads from CVS. Um some sensitive skin tape. I order a big thing. I ordered this from Amazon. A big thing of vitamin E um, cocoa butter. And it's for the scar. Because like I said, I'm going under the muscle. So I will begin cut in the crease of my breast. And yeah, so after my stitches fall and stuff, I'll be able to put this on here. I also got me some chapstick. Because I heard, you know, my lips going to be a little chap. And I come out of surgery, so yeah, I got me some chapstick. And this is the colace right here. This is what it looks like. I got me some ABC pads. I got two cases of these. I got them from Amazon. Um, so yeah, they come with 40 in a pack, so I got 80 of them. I also got me a um, ice pack. It come with two in the pack. I ordered this from Amazon. They're called Rainbow Ice Packs. Hot cold packs. Oh, you got extra. Like I said, extra, extra. Read all about it. <laughs> no, seriously, I got me some straws because I was just thinking, you know what I'm saying? With me getting my breast done, you really don't, you really don't know, not know, but we we'll don't really pay attention to all the muscles we use, you know. Series. 
the day of my surgery, me coming out of surgery, y'all gonna see all that, my reaction, how I feel. I could take pain, but I don't know. Like I said, I ain't never been under the knife, but I'm ready to get it over with. I'm not nervous anymore. Just ready to get it done. So y'all stay tuned. And like, comment, subscribe this video. And turn on your post notifications because I will be posting another video for the reaction after surgery. Thank you.